Hey everyone, it's Kia. Welcome back to my channel. So in this episode of Kia's Closet, I reached out to Hoardly Professional Organizing Extraordinaires to come through and organize my closet as well as my beauty products. And I also threw in a little PR unboxing and a little haul as well. So without further ado, let's hop into this video. Okay. <laughs> Do you wanna get a, a shot of the pullout? <laughs> wow, yes, it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so lot. So these are just pants and bottoms. Yep, right here. Okay, so bottoms. And, so this one right here. All right. Yeah. Should we start there? Yeah, we can start here. We've got like blue jeans, regular jeans. These looks like more like fashion sweats, like you'll go out. Okay. In. Mm -hmm. And over here, I've got more like loungewear sweats. So we'll just double check between Make those sure. okay. piles, which is which. This was just general pants, okay. and this was the kind of I call them summer pants. Okay. And then we've got leather. Okay. Do those categories make sense? Yeah, they make perfect sense. Okay, yep. great. Yep, yep. Baby. <laughs> we'll start All right, with the 50. loungewear. 50, <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, this guy? Lounge, yeah. Those are, yeah, lounge. Lounge, And keep. Great. They will have our, our quarantine sweats. For yeah, them. right. Are you good? Those are fashion sweats those and keep. Fashion. Okay, so that'll be over here. Those can go to donate. Okay, beautiful. These ones? Those are lounge and keep. Three. And those are fashion oh. sweat shorts kind of things. They're like culottes. <laughs> <laughs> those are lounge keep. Okay. Not only am I getting my closet organized, I'm also getting my beauty products organized. So excited because it's always a mess. I get so many products daily. I need a system of organization. And so here we are. So this is where everything hopefully is going to go. As far as beauty products, I'm also gonna have linens here and then it's also my coat closet as well, but it's a mess. This is like the daily stuff, things that I'm gonna be reaching for daily. I'm excited to get that together make a more functional system that works for me. Also picked up some new coffee table books. Finally got the Rihanna book. This thing is massive and it is so heavy. Hey ho, it's everything, everything, everything. This one is probably gonna stay on my coffee table. And I also picked up some more for, I'm either gonna put these in closet or keep them out here as well so this is the black is beautiful book by Kwame I haven't opened it yet this is the new black vanguard by Antoine and then I also picked up the supreme models yeah black art you got to celebrate black art black creativity surround yourself with it this right here an amazing piece of literature amazing piece of culture everybody should read this book I remember I mentioned to you guys that I'm starting a podcast. It's really happening. Um, so I picked up a mic, industry standard mic. Um, I also got the, twist it around, the Rode Podcaster Pro. This is like where you hook the mics up to. It has like, it's just, it's fire. I had to get it, it's two of us. So, you know, half the cost here. Ooh, I also picked up another lens for my, one of my Sony cameras. I'm like addicted to cameras at this point. <laughs> I wanna do a video about the cameras that I use because honestly, I've spent so much money as a YouTuber, just in, you know, content creator in general, trying to find the best cameras. I think I, I mean, speaking from my perspective, a lot of the times when I'm looking for cameras and recommendations, like everybody is a white man or everybody's a male. No, not everybody is a YouTuber or specifically does what I do as far as fashion and beauty. So I think for my, my point of view, I think doing a video about all my equipment and cameras and stuff will be really beneficial to people out there who are looking to, you know, have a career or even a hobby in what I do. Um, and that's pretty much what the podcast is gonna be about, but I don't wanna give too much away, all right? Rarely ever get really excited about PR packages. Like, I mean, it's Christmas, but a lot of the stuff I end up donating to um, shelters and giving away to my friends. I rarely ever really get a chance to really use all the products that I get because it's just so much. Um, I want to do more giveaways, but I just feel like it's just going to be such a hassle. But it's, it's 
sometimes when I get some really good things in PR, and it might not even be the products, it might just be the added extra that they throw in there, but apparently Baby Fat has come out with some beauty products. And in the PR box, they included this disposable camera with the Baby Fat um, wrapping on it. This is freaking genius and I love I Baby Fat was that girl as far as streetwear, fashion, hip hop fashion coming up in the late 90s, early 2000s, like that girl. And they also gave me a little blinged out uh, AirPod case. So cute, so, so cute. Um, what else did I get that I like? Oh, so New Balance sent me some sneakers. They have been really putting out some fire. Here are they, they are, these are just the perfect like new neutral dad sneakers. These are the 992s. All right, so Everlane came out with a sustainable sneaker. Let's see if they're made to live in, made to live on. And they're just like a basic white sneaker. It definitely gives me Ked. <laughs> I definitely can't see myself wearing these, but I feel like this would be like a great canvas for like artwork. This came in a little PR from Essence, but it's much better for 50, right? Here. He's like, first of all, mom, this doesn't even squeak. <laughs> you being lazy. Yeah. Oh. So Lancome, this is actually a really good idea. They came out with some lip glosses. It was in this case. Here are the lip glosses, but also had like a, a CD with like the different tracks as the listed lip glosses. That was really, really cute and, and creative. That's where I'm at right now. Like, give me some razzle dazzle with the creativity. You ain't gotta go overboard with the packaging, but as far as the creativity, like novelty products, I'm so here for that. Um, I think, speaking of PR, I think PR is a huge waste of resources. Um, sometimes because look at all these boxes <laughs> look at that waste it's just so waste wasteful and a lot of the times it has a big old box with only one product in it and i just it has to be a better way it has to be a better way um what else oh necessaire they sent me some products their products are so so good so i got the body they sent me the body serum the body lotion and these are all fragrance free the body wash and eucalyptus i already have this in sandalwood so good and they sent their deodorant and eucalyptus as well This looks like a really good eyeshadow, eyeshadow palette. This is from Nomad Cosmetics. I like that artwork. Um, and Rico Nasty had a collab with, I don't even know how to pronounce this, but she had a collab with these people. I mean, some of them are really good, you know. Oh. I knew I made it when Max started sending me PR, okay? <laughs> Oh my god, the goat. Before I ever wore any kind of makeup, I was wearing freaking Mac Ruby Room. Ready? Hey. Oh, yes. So, where you want to start? Our boots here. And all shoes are out of boxes except for one special guy right here. Right. Yes, 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 50. All mm. the very colorful ones. I like that. And the dark ones there. <laughs> so very and then nice. we've got white over here. And then this side we've got two are sandals and then these are all heels. Okay. And then we had one pair of it was like kind of open boots. Mm -hmm. And then this looks like I think one of the memento ones. And over here, this is kind of like white with the details. Okay. Over on this side. The cowboy boots are just lined up on this side. And then I got all the tall guys over here. So it's again, dark to light. So okay. there's like 
it's kind of we've got like all the way to the light ones in the corner so okay don't forget <laughs> then over here we start they're both facing this way so on this half we've got all the tops starting with crop tops and then sleeveless these are the couple short sleeve suits short sleeve tops we have body suits and then these are long sleeve hoodies and then into the jumpsuits. Okay. And this side is all the layers. So we've got blazers in the middle and then into vests. We've got the smaller, lighter, like workouty jackets into lighter. We've got the jackets in the leather and then jerseys in the back. And now this wall is all bottoms and dresses. So we have jeans over here. Uh -huh. This side is the summer pants. And then we've got skirts. We have the short skirts in the front and then the long skirts behind, and then dresses, same thing. We have the shorter dresses and then the longer dresses into here. You have that all the way open. <laughs> the ones with details have like a couple extra. Wow. <laughs> Look at that folding. Yeah. Folding is A1. <laughs> so these are all the everyday essentials. And yeah, we've got the extra, we've got lingerie. This is the tights and shapewear. Some more socks. <laughs> the PJ bottoms. Thermals, we've got the tops and the bottoms. And then workout shorts and pants. Yes. So everything's all split up. Yes. And the best part about Firefold is you can always add more. Add yes. some more. So just push it back. Love it. These are the same. We've got all of your lounge stuff over here. So we've got the sweatshirts and then darker ones, lighter ones. We had a few pair of lounge shorts and the hoodies. And these are all your lounge around the house t-shirts. Love t-shirts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is our sweatshirts. And then we've got the sweatpants. So there's definitely more room here too, if you end up, you know, mm -hmm. growing your collection. <laughs> These are our plain tees. And then we've got two drawers for the graphic tees. So these are the more going out mm -hmm. tops, the ones yes. that you'll wear. And then this is your long sleeve shirts and the turtleneck. Okay. Here we've got, these are the jean shorts. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of the shorts. We've got a drawer for leather pants and then a drawer for the kind of thicker pants. Yes. <laughs> and then all the purses are in the little and acrylic we've got things. Our acrylic dividers. So cute. I love those. Purses should be on display. <laughs> you definitely should be on display. Definitely and then, should. yeah, there's still, I just left the ones that your designer chose over here, but you could play around with okay. kind of which ones are on display or if you want to do like maybe put the seasonal away and have more boots in. Okay. Whenever you want easy access. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. This is so We're good. I'm so excited. I'm so excited <laughs> too. Take me through downstairs the the uh Ooh, the yeah, products and stuff. So. Oh, and lots of recycling. Lots, lots of recycling. <laughs> these are all of our backup products. And we've got zones for you. So all of these drawers are now hair. This is all extra face products. We've got your body lotions here. And then these two are backup shower. We have shampoo and conditioners, and then shower gels, your bath salts, some um, shower lotions, and then the soaps. This is your hand soap and air freshener, so backup bathroom whenever you get down on those. This is all the little products that are like medicine cabinet that you wanna refill. And then backup mouth care. And these guys are all ones that are over in the other mm -hmm. other side. So this is like your extra makeups, the extra jewelry, and then we've got nail care if you need it, and essential oils. This is all our little teeny travel products and a couple of bags. And you did awesome editing. We've got just the best of the best yes. bags. <laughs> Open for your ski, we've got your goggles and s snow pants and your gloves in there. Okay. And then these are winter scarves. All nice and file folded yes. there. Yes. 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 So when we're ready for that fall weather, yes. you can grab that down. And then winter hats and gloves. 
And then this is all the cleaning we've got yes. up off the ground. <laughs> Yes. Love that. Love it. If you need vacuum attachments, and then we definitely have space if you get more paper goods. Okay. So this is like any extra cleaning can definitely fit. Yes. And then we've got all this space for packages. So yes. incoming, outgoing stuff. Okay. Yeah. I was also thinking if you want to just keep maybe one of those bins without a lid here so it like catches the packages. Okay. And then if you need to like do one big go through, you could like pull it out. Yeah, it yeah. And that also saves the space like I could tuck this up here so yeah again it's like you don't end up like putting something in the floor so it's always safe, safe. For, yeah know? the bathroom <gasps> this cabinet and these are our daily products easy access we've got medicine and first aid split up with cold and flu meds and then pain and first aid this was all the face products that we need daily this was the body products the extra shampoo and conditioner for you. Everyday hair. These are the washcloths. We've got a couple things of mouth care. All the bath towels. And then we've got femme care and toilet paper. Nice, 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 nice. Perfect. <laughs> in more closet organization videos, definitely check out this playlist.